Yeah, welcome back to the Domi podcast. Free Domies, no special guest. We've got enough. No special guest, just today. just free Domies. Special guest is Greg's bike. Special guest. True. Shout out to Greg's dip. bike. So <laughs> Greg's dick. just uh, Greg's just cycled all the way from England to Portugal. Lisbon, right? Toma. Toma. How long did it take? Toma, dick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! How long did it take, Greg? Twenty-two days. Twenty-two days, and you were cycling every day, right? Yes, every day, bro. Damn. With that Disney Channel flow. Yeah. I want a, I want, I want a pre. What, what did you take with you? <laughs> like, what was your, what was your pre-trip for? <laughs> <laughs> I took your mum's virginity with me. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> You're so fucking stupid, Marshall. Oh Next my question. god, this guy's such a fucking <laughs> no, I wanna idiot. Know. I wanna know what you do. Oh god, this guy's such a fucking idiot. Uh, it's on Google Drive. Drive. It's on Google Drive. Here you go, bro. Let me, let me pull up the Google Drive. The whole point is to talk about it on the podcast. Yeah? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I wanna hear about show, it. I wanna hear about it. You gotta show off his Google Drive. You could fucking screenshot the Google Drive, yeah, Lord, what, bro. What does what Google Drive have to say about this? I wanted to talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> and ask questions on it. I'm trying to... What I'm trying it? to give you the answer to the question and you're like i don't want that answer bitch what does google drive have to say about this do you think i'm also not going to talk about it <laughs> i'm That's just fine, doing man. the google drive oh my god look at this why you got a fucking the gear rear oh, jesus this is... you took a u-lock i did take a u-lock but then yeah. i dumped it in brighton because i was you like a no, busy a busy bag yeah, bro. This guy doesn't know about the bivy. If you, if Noah's, Noah's of the bivy bag, respect it and understand its power. Oh, I respect the bivy. <laughs> I respect the bivy bag. I slept in that two way. pairs of shorts. Twelve times, at least. Yeah, one of them broke though. Such pair Sash. of trousers. That didn't shorts. break. I just wore it like once. Nice. So don't don't bring those because it's really hot. You didn't you take gaffer tape. Them. No, or I didn't sports take sports tablets or water treatment tablets. No, there's no point taking water treatment stuff. You didn't take a you headlight. Did a, you didn't bring a patch kit. You didn't take a headlight. Uh, no, I didn't take a patch kit because you could just bring a spare inner. There's also no point bringing a patch oh. kit in Western Europe. Okay. Because you'll never what? be more than like, you'll, you'll never be more than like 20 miles away from a bike shop at any given time. You didn't bring a headlight. Nope, I just no. brought a... Uh... I respect the no on trowel and toilet paper. That's based... <laughs> oh, no, wait. I did bring that. I don't know why it's oh, just okay. that one. Oh, I like that. I, I did bring, bring that and I all the wood a couple of times. <laughs> Get it, Chad. And then... He used, used his hand. And then buried the toilet paper. No cutlery. He used his hand. cutlery. That's all soon. Oh. Fake news oh. media has been editing it. Okay. Uh, water treatment. What? Uh, yeah, you, you don't need that filter, shit in Western Europe. Filter dirty water from like a stream or whatever. Oh yeah, he that's cares. Why I didn't, that's why I didn't bring that. There's just literally no reason to bring that in like Western Europe. Yeah. Just because like... Uh... <laughs> Front saddlebag, £25, yes. From an comments, another AliExpress moment. <laughs> yeah, you know why it's an AliExpress moment? The zipper on that broke in three days. Oh <laughs> no. So it was permanently half open. If I went over a bump that was too big... There was there's like a fifty percent chance something would fall out with the front saddlebag. Nice. So I would yeah. say that was a pretty big AliExpress moment until I got some string around it for a, a fake real zipper. So you list you listed all the weights here and you've got a total of eighteen point three two kilos, which isn't isn't much. That's pretty light. It's pretty impressive. Gee, I'd say. Well, that doesn't include um, food weight, like weight adding in food. Ah, I see. And you took MRE. Also, too. Uh, I took one MRE. You, no. you can't bring 22 days of MREs. No, in, I didn't in, know if you just brought like a week. Individual or MRE is no, about like one and a half kilograms, for example. No, maybe maybe less than one and a half kilograms. It's about a kilogram. I see. Uh, maybe, maybe more than a kilogram. I don't know. So it's, it's around a kilogram. So you can't, re and they're also pretty bulky as well. But you, they have you had a uh, plastic bag for water. Yeah, what? I had a. Uh, what? He says you have a two liter. I had a, a, uh, liter plastic. Bag. I mean, it is plastic. I'm pretty sure, but it's a camel bag. Okay. So um, it's. 
Uh, yeah, I didn't. I, thought, I was I just thinking he had like a fucking Tesco bag filled of water. <laughs> the bag no, from no, like, no, the store in it. Uh, no, it's like um, it's got like a straw that you can, you suck out the water from the sealed bag. Yeah. And you can open it. Yeah, yeah. But there's no also not really any reason to bring one of those in Western Europe. Because I just ended up yeah, carrying two cool. one and a half liter water bottles in my bottle cages, and then mm. just mm -hmm. filling them up. Like you probably have to fill them up like once a you day. Bring the camel bag for America. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably bring that because there, there is legitimately there is a I think there's a 50 mile stretch in Nevada on Highway 15, um, and I'm gonna be going through that in like what August September ish is probably when I'll be hitting that. Damn. So mm -hmm. it's a 50 mile stretch, and I don't think there's any services in between the 50 mile stretch. Jesus. So, and it's in Nevada, and it's in August slash September, which is nearing mm. the hottest months of the year. I guess September's out. That's near, that's near the that's near the end of your night days. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I said. But it's weakest. Um, he's weakest. <laughs> well, I mean, what's I'm going through Utah as well. So yeah, I'm gonna basically in in those to kill you. <laughs> yeah, I thought about um, I thought about like buying stuff for like a shitty IRL stream setup, and then I just didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, it's not worth. I it. guess taking cameras and stuff is a lot. Well, a lot I think way. I think we just need to buy like a another phone to record off. Yeah, yeah but then you need sick, like actually. a power bank as well. I you? have a power bank. I have a twenty thousand twenty six hundred. I see me. Uh, oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh. Well, I had a power bank. I'm joking. That you was, did that have was, a power bank. That was a, that was a glass cup that I knocked off the desk when yeah. I was reaching for the power bank. <laughs> I kind of just, like, watched it fall and didn't make any effort to stop it falling. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I did try to stop it falling there, it would have just not fallen. Oh, like that. I just watched it fall off, and now I have to clean it up because it did break. Is it full? There's, there's no fucking glass. No, it was empty. There's no glass in the pool. F glass. Uh, F glass. So I'll answer your question. So bank. Cleaning up this glass right now. I, okay. I assume I assume you had a power bank because I assumed you list. Did you listen to shit when you were biking? Yeah. Yeah. But then my, I listened to a couple of audio books and then I listened to a fuck yeah. ton of podcasts. Mm -hmm. Which audio uh, books yeah. did you have? I listened to a really shit urban fantasy. I, I, it's not really shit. It's just really pulpy, um, which mm. I guess is like the intention behind why I was listening to it, because it's it's stuff that you can just turn your brain off and listen to. Uh, I listened. It's called the Dresden Files, and it's about a guy who's a wizard, but he's also a private detective, and he solves mysteries. Yeah. And I would rate it as, yes, yes, they're okay. Oh, it's Scooby Doo. Yeah, kinda. Nice. They're okay. They're very like 2010s nerd, to noughties mm. nerd books because the main character Naughty wears nerd. a trench. Yeah, a main character wears a trench coat constantly, and nice. he's that's I so epic it. and cool. Uh, trench coats yeah. are really epic. I think he wears fedoras. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. <laughs> he definitely God, wears some type funny. of hat, um, which is really epic and cool. There's like some holy christian knights and they they're like special weapons are katanas holy. for some reason <laughs> because katanas are like the best sword on the planet yeah and this was back in the yeah. northeast when people were like holy shit katanas are fucking epic bro yeah and people are still like that uh, yeah yeah i guess dark souls players so you did so 1410 miles something about something like that Rough, roughly that, probably about was, that much yeah and then your America one was doing. How much is America? Yeah, four thousand three hundred. Yes. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's like a third of of that. How long did you say it took you? Twenty two days, days. Did you say? Yeah, I went a bit slow because of certain stuff that happened, like uh, getting mm. ferries slows you down. Ah. Well, I I mean I would have arrived one day quicker, so it could have taken yeah. twenty one, and I probably could have got there in like twenty. So it's gonna take you like two months across America. Yeah, like days, right? Well, ninety days is your your visa period. Three months. Yeah. Damn. So as long as you get the fuck back yeah, by ninety, 90 days. Yeah, ninety days. If you don't, you get like fined or something, and they don't let you come into the country again. Forever. Uh, I think it's like ten years. Oh, okay. 
and you can you're just it's it's not your barred from the country it's your barred from using the ESTA which is the visa waiver program uh yeah. so you have mm -hmm. to apply for a visa at an embassy and then if how, how you often... overstayed a visa waiver at an embassy while you're applying they're going to ask you why you did that and they'll use it as a reason to deny your visa basically how often can you get 90 day visas uh 90 days every 180 days i think but they're also okay, so it's like and, 90 in 90 out is that it? no 90 in 180 out <laughs> 180 out yeah. and, okay. but they're also they're not intended for that so if you're doing that then they will just deny you at the border mm. they'll be like why are you doing this you're clearly not taking 90 days of holiday which is the purpose of the the visa right and yeah. then taking 180 days of not holiday and then taking 90 days of holiday on and off you could be yeah but unlikely to be especially struggle to uh, the, the border agent doesn't have to believe you <laughs> like you you could be telling the absolute truth but they don't yeah. have to believe that yeah the the whole point of visa waiver is that like you you're supposed to use it in good faith and using it that way is not what they consider using it in good faith even though you might be interesting like mm. at that that point they just tell you to fuck off and apply for an actual visa which is relevant to what you're doing but what if you apply for visa and say I want to go on holidays every ninety days? Uh, then they'll tell you to every fuck off, <laughs> probably. Yeah, I think there's probably a better way Why, to do it bro? than that. Uh, like, unless you're rich, America, they're spending money in America. Yeah, though. unless you're rich, though. If you're rich, they'll probably well, be like, "That's whatever. I don't care. You're rich." Yeah. Put the red card Assumedly, out. to do that, you have to be rich. But yeah, obviously, that I mean, okay. they're not. This isn't like a video game. Where you can just abuse the AI, <laughs> like they, they know what you're doing. It's pretty obvious, and they'll just tell you to fuck off. Is at least my understanding of that when I I like read about it. Okay. So you had a uh, you had audiobooks and podcasts on your way. I want to know about the interesting characters that you met, because surely you would have met uh, interesting a fair characters. Of people. That I met. Did you talk to anyone? Uh, you mean in podcasts? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I there's a know. lot of Spanish yeah. boomers who just like go up to you, <laughs> and they just say like random shit to you, and they're like oh, in, in Spanish or in years... English. Yes, in Spanish. They're right. like 60 years old, and they'll just come up to you and say some stuff in Spanish, and you'll be like, "No hablas España, so yeah. so that is. Um, and then they'll keep talking to you in Spanish, like you understand. <laughs> <laughs> And then maybe, like, eventually you'll get, like, something out. The funniest thing that... It's, or one of the funnier encounters was this guy who just rolled up to me while I was in a town. And it was, like, mm. 7 or 8 o'clock. And he was, like, said a bunch Wait, of shit. In the morning or evening? Eight, evening. Said yeah. a bunch of shit to me in, like, Spanish. And I was like, sorry, I can't understand. And he's like, no camping in town. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, no shit, dude. I'm obviously not going <laughs> to pitch a tent in town. Like, <laughs> where do you Why think? Why not? Vagrant holidays would. Where do you think? No, he wouldn't. He'd pitch the bivy in the town. Where do you? Where do you? But like, there's like not even anywhere to pitch. We're like in the middle of a concrete street next to a highway. Like, what? He's like, mm. no, no camping in town. It's like, it, yeah, same as everywhere else. Do you think it's like different <laughs> in every other country on the planet? Like, obviously, you can't pitch a. Where, where did you camp? Town. Camped oh, in your mum's pussy. Good job, good job, well done. Just, you just can camp. You can camp literally bushes. anywhere. Like you can yeah. camp in fields. You just, you, yeah, but you did. Diff you, said, you stayed in a couple of sites, didn't you? Yeah, like showers I, and whatever. You said the French ones were good. Didn't you? Yeah, French ones are good because they're really cheap and they're everywhere. You can stay in a French campsite for four euros, and it will have electricity yeah, it's, it's, and it will have showers. And shower, right? Yeah, 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 yeah that's so. good. That's really good. Yeah. So well, what's just... the? Do you know the frequency of them in America? Uh probably very infrequent and they're definitely more geared around rvs so they probably don't yeah. have too many pitch sites and they probably don't have too much electricity for non-rvs as well well america's not in, even really yeah. pedestrian friendly in, in general what, is it what, in, uh, what are you doing for showers and stuff in america uh i mean you could just them. do a camp like every seven days rain yeah. is nature's shower no that's not true <laughs> Ex speaking from experience that's very not true <laughs> It's really bad for showers. Mm. What? No, I'm sure yeah. it's fine. It cleans you right up. Doesn't smell. True. You're not wrong, actually. Mm. So you, you did you like plan where you'd stop, or did you just be like, "That's good"? No, and you just stop it like a bush. You plan at like the end of the day, like when you're when you're at like 80k, which is not that much, by the way. 
that's like four hours of cycling at like a okay pace um right if you're like a road cyclist that's a really slow pace but like i suppose if that's all you're doing in that whole day yeah i mean imagine you could cycle for like seven eight hours a day and you still have eight hours of not cycling in a day before you go to sleep if you're sleeping for eight hours right i suppose yeah no, they, you usually want to sleep for more than eight hours. Yeah, I imagine you're so exercising that much. Yeah. Yeah. Were you well, at least sobri- rest, obviously resting for more than eight hours. Yeah. Were you noticeably thinner post journey? Nah, bro. No. I'm 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 always thin. I'm constantly <laughs> thin. I thought you you would lose, lose a lot anything. of weight doing it, right? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I weighed myself. I, mean, I guess you, I lost. You're gaining muscle, right? You're five or six kilograms, I think. So. That's quite a lot. Yeah, especially in a uh, three weeks, days, right? True. That's massive in three weeks. Huge. So do that yeah. for losing weight. Yeah. That's a doctor, doctor tip. Real, <laughs> real doctor tip. Real, <laughs> real and true. Real, true and authentic Christian Weston Chandler. I'm surprised you're you're. I'm surprised you're going to America so quickly. Yeah, yeah. very soon. Yeah. I feel like I would want to chill. It's in season. Yeah, I guess you bro. kinda have to. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I guess you kinda have to because of season. No, they close mountain passes past uh September usually. Yeah. I feel like I would have just done it fucking next year to be honest. <laughs> but I'm also a lazy fuck, so true you are. Very true. And authentic. You went to surprise your family, didn't you? Yeah, but it's literally impossible. They they just gossiped a bunch of everyone knew. Kinda lame. Sad. Yeah, it kinda ruined it, to be honest. You just turned up, and you're like, woo, you know, like, oh, there you are. I know, kind of lame. Damn. Why'd you tell him? You shouldn't have told him, bro. Yeah, dude, let me just, uh, hide 700 packages coming into my house. Uh, <laughs> a giant oh, bike. You can say, uh, you can say it's for your stuff. America bike. Sex stuff. What? You can say it's to bike across America, like you're going to Hey, do. why have you disappeared for 22 days, by the way? Damn that! I thought where they were are on you, hol- you disappeared to? Like I thought they were on what, holiday and you and no one was Why would their home. first? Why would their yeah? What, a I thought they were on holiday and B why would their first guest be? Oh, you must be biking to us. Gee, gee, I can't. Why? Why has all the bicycle equipment disappeared in twenty two days and you haven't contacted me for twenty two days? On, they're not on holiday still at your for twenty two days, <laughs> Marshall. <laughs> they, oh. didn't, they didn't go on holiday for the entire month. They did what you normally. I, did, I didn't. I didn't know how long they were away for. Yeah, but I mean, go on holiday no, for I a didn't week. Right? Yeah, I, I well, left. You can. You can left. definitely make up an excuse. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not you gonna mean, lie yeah. to like my parents and gaslight them about why I'm randomly disappearing of all my stuff, and they're like, "Hey, we're worried." Like. Do you, do you understand? That's like a bit I mean, you can cu- thing to do you can... in, in terms oh. of interpersonal relationship stuff. I don't know. I feel like you're being very pedantic about this. I'm <laughs> not. What do you mean? I feel like you could 100% make a valid excuse and then surprise yeah, them. Yeah, but I need, to, and it could work. I need to book bags on the flight back. I didn't book the flight back. There is definitely a way you could do it. <laughs> the flight back was I, I, There's undeniably. probably a way to do it, but I don't think Greg was that bothered about doing it. I, like, like I'm sure I, he could have I gone just, to a certain amount that, that is the answer. That, yeah, yeah that's, that's the obvious answer was it didn't matter that much. Yeah. And it's just kind of gaslighty and... Yeah, I don't know, dude. I, I was already booked on the same flight the back record, but... before I decided to go anyway, so... Hmm. And the reason I wanted to, to cycle to Portugal was because I had the flight back already pre-booked, right? And the the place in Portugal. Mm. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have chosen Portugal to go to. Uh, no? no offense. No, no offense. Would you, where it, would you have rather gone? Uh, I don't know. Just, uh, what, more easterly? I don't know. I suppose. I have to think about it more. Mm. Yeah, you could go along, like, the Rhine, Alps... Um, mm. they're, they're more because I didn't take like um an entirety of like a pre-planned like Eurovelo route, so I'd probably have just taken like one of those fully instead of diverging from it to get to a place that's off the route, right? Yeah. Did you meet any any weird French people, or was it just Spanish people? Uh, most people in French, rich. So France are really nice, actually. They're mm. Yeah, they'll like 
if you're like stopped on the side of the road they'll like pull up and be like hello you lost um i had a french lady who saw me cycling up a hill and was like i own a campsite do you want to stay at my campsite for free that was pretty pog nice did you yeah i lost my wallet there though so oh they stole it It and someone found it and posted it back so oh nice for the only w for french people yeah france is the best country that i cycled in to cycle through it's nice. um, all European countries are pretty nice though because, well, for some reason, on European roads, um, on their like their rural dual car or not dual carriageway on their rural two lane roads, they have hard shoulders where if you add up the width of the hard shoulder on both sides of the road would constitute another lane. Like their hard no, shoulders yeah. are really wide. Yeah, you posted a picture of some roads, and literally the, the cycle paths oh, yeah. were better than the roads. Yeah, yeah that's, oh, that was so much funny. better. It wasn't close. Uh, yeah, the, there was a road that was going through a forest, and it was like a dirt track, and then right next to it was a tarmac cycle path. Yeah, <laughs> it tar- tarmac versus dirt it's, like, oh. it's like Road de Charles de Gaulle de Baguette, Rue Vienna, or whatever, and, <laughs> and it's like some random just tarmac cycle path next to it. <laughs> it's very odd. But French French cycle paths and cycle routes are generally really nice. They're really flat, or if they do have gradients, the gradients are like really low, like one two percent, which is like fine to cycle on at decent speed. Um, mm, yeah, yeah. Spain had some nice cycle roads too, but there was a lot of gravel cycling in Spain, and the bike I have isn't the best at gravel cycling because the tires are like they're like a midway between road tires and like mountain tires so Mm. that Mm -hmm. they're supposed to like they're they're able to handle going off road but like you're not you shouldn't really yeah yeah, it's not like a mountain bike for it yeah yeah with like wide tires where it's like if you're cycling you happy with your bike choice yeah it's decent it's a good bike do you think you should have got like a mountain bike no no yeah was there is there anything you (laughs) you've got to change um, Is there anything you come back you're like? Oh, I bet change that for America. So. Uh no, not on short notice. If That's if good. if like I had infinite money, I would replace every part with a lighter weight, higher quality part that mm. costs like a thousand pounds each. Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah, have infinite money, so I can't do that. Yeah, That's for a bike good, I bought from Who's eBay, five hundred quid, and then spent like a hundred and fifty refurbishing pieces, including replacing most of the drivetrain. Um, mm. it's pretty good. Did anything break? Um, I had an M6 bolt come out of the rear disc brakes while I was going down a hill, which meant that when I applied oh, no. the disc brake, the rotor carriage, which is the thing that holds the pads, which go to the discs, which stop mm-hmm. the brake, started that. So the the carriage started going into the disc, and the oh. disc turns with the wheel, so it was it was shaving off metal from the carriage if oh, I brake, no. and that was going down a mountain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. That was bad. Um, and I had a flat tire, but only one flat oh, tire. Oh shit! How do you deal with that? Uh, you replace the inner tube. <laughs> you take out the old inner tube. Uh, oh, you got spare inner tubes. The, you... Yeah, you carry like two spare inners, so you can replace ah, two I flats, see. or you can replace a flat, get a new inner yeah. to a bike shop. That's good then. You replace the inner, because like everywhere's gonna sell inners. <laughs> Sorry, I've just seen a high vis jacket with a note: car crashes are bad. Yeah. It's good. Uh, it's true. I didn't it's wear a, I didn't wear Ivor's jacket though. No. Just despicable. What um, does CDDR mean? CDDR. Or is that just a typo? Uh, G19. No, uh, I probably just slammed the keyboard randomly there. Okay. <laughs> Trousers one. Probably too many clothes. <laughs> true. Actually. <laughs> I ended up um I ended up wearing like one set of clothes while I was cycling pretty much the entire time. And like I'd maybe change like the shirt I was wearing like every week. Mm. And I had like four shirts. That was too many shirts. You probably only need two. One or eh, three. Two for cycling and boxes. one that's nice. Boxes. Three pairs of boxes. You probably need three. three. Two two, three. You could probably get away with two. Um shorts. Uh, you probably won't want like one pair did of you shorts. Get, like, did you get any like major chafing? No, no. You Just wear uh, you wear like diaper. Un- no, you wear like the cycle diaper. Yeah, yeah. You wear like cyclist diapers. Nice. Which stop that? You can also just like stuff your 
you'll, you'll cover your legs in like Vaseline or whatever as well. Yeah, I like brought Vaseline actually because I'd seen that recommended and I didn't use it once because I didn't need to. Nice. So it was. I probably wouldn't bring it again. I'm probably going to replace a uh, my shoes for sandals as well. So I'll have a pair of boots and a pair of sandals and just like, hmm. just because I don't know. I don't. I don't really think I need to like bring trainers. Pretty hot. What'd you bike with? What'd you bike in boots? Sandals. You be on bike with sandals. Yeah, you can. You can cycle with sandals. Yeah, no, you can. Yeah. Just just Might uh, give you some blisters though. Right? Would they be, or would they be like ones with the bit between the big toe, or just like the the strap over the top? That strap, bro. Top strap. And that's probably fine then. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't I imagine you, wouldn't... you get like some big toe blisters. Yeah, you wouldn't. With you wouldn't, the, you wouldn't know what you call it, like the Y shape really, ones. Yeah. You wouldn't really be able to cycle with those very well. Mm. Mm, exactly. Mm. Well, I'm still very impressed that you did the you did the trip. I definitely wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah, uh, no, cool. you probably could. It's not very hard, actually. <laughs> I I think it would be. I'd find. Uh, it. I think it's pretty easy to do. Genuinely. Not just the the fitness, but the um, mentality no, to not, go I mean, do it. I'd be pretty scared doing it. Uh, just do it forehead. Like what? Scared of what, bro? Yeah. <laughs> what are you scared of? I don't know. Being being alone, being alone in a different country. You haven't got like a yeah, nothing's you're, guaranteed. You're not right? like in like Iran where you can. No, like... but you're still like a. Like, I'd, I'd be scared doing it. Is what I'm saying. It's yeah, all fair enough. I don't know. It's it's pretty chill. Uh, most people are pretty understanding of what you're doing, and if you don't speak English, or if they sorry if they don't speak English, you know, be respectful, apologize, use yeah. translator if they you really need something. Like it's. Uh... Mm. Well done. I hope uh, I hope America does well as well. I used to call ahead to like places and be like, "Can you take a bike?" And then like the third time, I just stopped doing that shit and just showed up with a bike <laughs> and was like, "I have a bike. Do you have anywhere to store it?" Never got sent away from anywhere, and nice. uh, never never had like no. You wanted no trouble. Is that what you said? Yeah, I was like, "No trouble, bro." No I trouble. Want, no I want trouble. no trouble. Is what you said. Yeah, I always carried a baby with me and a ladder. And... <laughs> You know, if I got mugged, I would uh, run yeah, to the yeah. nearest cement factory to comically yeah. execute a war Yeah, you had a repertoire of comically kung fu moves. Yeah, my favorite is the one where you, like, jump through the ladder and you pick it up and you then spin the ladder and hit yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> that, one, that one is really quite effective. You push a guy into a cement mixer and start spinning him around. That's a good well, that, that one is also quite good as well. Mm. Yeah, that's the forbidden technique. Yeah. Mm, climbing up the ladder while people are fighting you as well, yeah, and using it to like um, swing kick no someone. On Very good. Mm. What'd you eat? <laughs> Your mum's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> um, baguettes. Buy a baguette every day. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Add some hummus, baguette. maybe. Uh, no, honestly, I don't like. I ha I tried a baguette and hummus and. Just because I was like, if he eats it every day, surely there's like some reason why he does. It must be like at least nice. It's I, not I even can't nice. imagine hummus would be that nice with a, a big egg. Yeah, it really isn't very nice. Are you telling me that Vagrant Holidays is just <laughs> autistic? It's kind no of a way. degenerate, yeah. No uh, I, I know. A pitta or whatever, sure. Yeah, but baguettes that's nice. is weird. No, but baguettes are good just because they're like 50 cent. They're full of carbs. Yeah. Um, and calories, you could just like pair them with everything, so you can like fill them with anything that you want, like ham sandwich, yeah. cheese, salad, um, you know, any kind of meat really that you can cook. Mm. I stopped cooking stuff like, when I went into Spain, just because I was, um, I ended up disposing of a butane canister just because I was like, I don't, I don't want to um, give off the impression that I'm like able to start a wildfire because that's yeah, like a committing some arson, of regions yeah. in Spain. And they also don't like wild camping as much because of that. So I was like, yeah, I'll just do that. Was it much it hotter? Like... I assume it was hotter, right? But was it yeah, really in hot? Spain, it's not that much hotter than like southern France, really. And honestly, when I flew mm. up from Lisbon, the temperature was like 24 degrees that day. And I flew into the UK and it was 30 degrees. So oh, okay. it's confirmed colder in Portugal than it is in um... <laughs> the UK. It's Actually, what did it really yeah. annoy me, and it's something that I'm going to change, is I brought for the bicycle chain. I brought dry lube, because um, I was mm. like, yeah, I'm going through, uh, I'm going through like France, Spain, Portugal, so it's not going to rain that much. 
Um, yeah. The country it rained the least in that I was in was France. It rained one time while I was in France. And I was in France yeah. probably for like nine, ten days. Twelve, twelve days maybe. Um, and it Did rained you weatherproof gear? It or rained just like, like four times while I was in thing? Spain. Uh, I had a coat, yeah. And then all oh, the, okay. the, the panniers, which is the bags you put on the bike are waterproof. Nice. And then the Gore-Tex bivy is theoretically waterproof, but uh, you will still get damp as a motherfucker if you sleep in the rain in it. Uh, and I can tell you that from experience, because I slept in the rain in it once. And then I was <laughs> like, I'm never doing that again, because it was mm. not very fun experience. That sounds rough. Yeah, you, you get super damp, and then oh. everything... So your sleeping bag gets really damp, your lining oh, gets really no. damp. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, don't do that. No. Okay. Any, anything else you want to raise in this, Elliot? Before I do a, a massive subject change? Uh, fucking 180 this shit, bro. Okay. Right. Thank God. Oh, the last, like, three, four days, I've been on a just, like, a, a massive binge on YouTube of, uh, like, compilations of an American show called Live PD. Have you heard of this? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's the uh, police show, right? So um, there's yeah. a few others, but I've been watching Live PD. So... Uh, uh-huh. And I've got I've got a few points that I've that I've I've discovered after watching probably about fifteen twenty minute compilations of this show, right? Mm-hmm. Number one, uh, like I think I I'm a pretty big guy. I'm I'm like semi fit. I'm not like I'm not like a jogger or anything, right? I could I could outrun like eighty percent of the cops <laughs> in this show. The only reason they catch like anyone that runs away is because there's like thirty of them and they have cars. Yeah. I mean, so... You're telling me the American police, the American police, America's boys in blue, aren't mm. the finest specimens. Yeah. Well, the ones the obviously colloquially are, known few... as pigs, mm. whose main stereotype mm. is sitting in donut shops. Yes, indeed. There was quite a few of that. Most of them were. There were. There's a guy like um. There's a guy with like a proper film camera, like chasing him around everywhere. Right, he's like in the car with one, and then they he's, get called to a, a scene. More athletic than the police officers. Yeah, he he would outrun most of the police officers with his camera. Imagine my surprise. <laughs> so that was that was observation one. Two is that um, they stopped. It would be almost all of them was like we've got a call or um. It was either they'd have a call to go see an incident, or they'd just like pull over someone because they've got like a tail light out, right? Almost every single car that they pulled over had drugs in said car. So, and it would all go down the same way. It would either go down with uh, them being like, they'd all just lie, pretty much. They'd go like, I got nothing in the car. Like, There's nothing in it. And they're like, Are you sure? And they're like, No, I've got nothing. They're like, Can I search the car? Because I can smell. I can smell weed. Are you sure there's nothing like that? There's nothing in there. I've got nothing, mate. And they go, okay, I'm going to search the car with probable cause because I can heavily smell weed. And then obviously they find, like, a shit ton of weed, right? And then the guy's like, why did you lie to me? And it's like, I didn't know I had that. And they're all like that, right? It's like all of them. And they yeah. all just lie. And I, and obviously that makes it worse, right? There's like, uh, there's like two or three where they just tell the truth. And almost all the time, they're just like, all right, cool. You're honest with us. We'll just give you a ticket, right? But everyone that lies just gets arrested as well. So like, don't well, don't lie if the American, American cops. Yeah, it depends how much they had. Right? <laughs> there was two. If you have like an two clips. Oh. Yeah, there was two where they had like just enough for personal use, and and uh, both of them like ran, like they tried to flee. Obviously, they both <laughs> they both got caught, and yeah. uh, <laughs> both time one of them was they just pulled into a parking lot. And someone just like got out of their car and run. They they weren't even looking for a person. They were just pulling into a parking lot, and someone just made a break for it. And they brought him back. And then they saw like the amount of weed he had, and they just laughed of how like little it was. Like, why would you? <laughs> they just bullied him for having too little weed and laughed at him. And they gave him a ticket or whatever. But yeah, a lot of people would run, and the only reason they were... there was I think there was one person that got away, and that was because they're in a like a, a fairly new Mustang. And it was two uh, like pretty small woman police officers tried to get into the car to like pull him out. So we just overpowered both of them and just drove off in the Mustang and just got away because it was fast. Um, but apart from that, everyone was caught. But that's that's one thing is people are on a high or whatever. And then the other one is that people are on drugs, right? 
just uh it would be like crack or heroin or meth or or alcohol and i think everyone that was on alcohol was like way worse than people on every other drug it was just anyone that was intoxicated was so like crazy and rude they'd be like thrashing around and like slamming their heads onto like walls and stuff taking like nothing and screaming the people on alcohol were so much worse than like all the other crackheads and heroin addicts and everything which is pretty weird or well, not something you, you'd assume right i wouldn't i don't know you you haven't seen the right method video. true true the thing with alcohol is you can still like drive a car while you're fucked uh not well <laughs> obviously you, you still drive a car into a bus of like seven year olds and kill them all while you survive but like if you're like super if you're tweaking super hard on meth probably can't even get like your car your keys in the ignition right there were a couple of people like tweaking like crazy yeah but the, the people who were just drunk were, uh, ended up being like the, the worst offenders which is kind of weird to see or not what i'd expect there was there was one like truck that they were chasing and it was this was i was about 10 like videos into it so i've seen quite a few at this point and this is like the worst driving you'd ever seen, right? He would he'd, he'd drive and then he'd just instantly like go up on the curb and like just like completely just turn like hit a, hit a, a garden fence and then reverse out. It was just the worst driving I'd probably ever seen for a getaway, right? He wasn't driving like dodging, it was just terrible driving. And <laughs> they they catch him, right? Because he just crashes over and over again. Anyway, <laughs> and he, gets, he gets out of the car and he was like. I was born to be on the racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the cops are like, man, you were you were not born on the racetrack. Fucking <laughs> bitch. <laughs> the absolute worst driving I'd ever seen. I think he was. Uh, I think he was. He was either on nothing or like slightly like high or drunk sort of thing. He wasn't like that bad. He was just a terrible driver. But he just <laughs> went, I was born, born to be on the racetrack. <laughs> And it was so bad. So that was a good one. There was a couple. Uh, there was a, a couple sad ones, right? So it was like a, there was one of just um, they got called to a, a yeah, like a gas station, and there was a, a homeless man that was trying to steal food. Uh, but he stole like he stole like two sweets, right? So it, it came to like four dollars. It came to four dollars, and uh. Mm-hmm. The guy, the owner, had, was like mad at him. He was like, "You could have just asked, and I would given it to you." But because you tried to steal it, I've called yeah. the cops, essentially. And then uh, the homeless guy, like he, he says, "Can he press charges?" So the homeless guy gets arrested for four dollars worth of food he stole. And then after yeah. um, he's been arrested, like the homeless guy is like sad because he just wanted some food. And yeah. uh, and then after he's arrested, the store owner comes out again. It's like, "Oh, can you unarrest him?" And they're like, no, <laughs> like it's too late now. We have to take him to court. So the homeless guy gets taken away, and now uh, it's like double sad because he shouldn't. It was just a sad situation to start with, and now the guy didn't want him arrested, but it's too late, and they've already signed it and everything. So that was a that was that was like the saddest. There was also one of a um, they got called to a house, and they there's like no response. They open the door, and there's two bodies on the floor and blood everywhere. They've been shot or whatever. Uh-huh. And then they like shout on the ground, and then a woman comes out, and they're like really confused, and they, they like take her out, and she's like crying and stuff, and she was straight up just asleep, and while she was asleep, with her two roommates were just like shot and murdered <laughs> in the house, what the and she was just fuck? sleeping like, and then she was not like on drugs or anything, she was just asleep, right, <laughs> and there was two murders, <laughs> there was two murders, so she gets woken up to like the house full of cops like shouting at her because there's two dead bodies Jeez, at the door. Have you seen- uh, have you seen the clip of this guy just walking up to a policeman, and he just basically admits that he killed his friend by accident? No, I haven't seen that he one. Ju- it's th- that one is really sad. Is that he a live PD? And goes, I'm not sure if it's live PD, mm. but he just walks up and goes, uh, "Yesterday at this time, uh, I have a friend. She wanted to know how to use a gun, so I was showing her." And then uh, I accidentally shot her in the chest. Damn. Um, and the police was like, uh, is she deceased? And she went, yes, she is currently sad. deceased. Currently. And then it's like, um, <laughs> and then it's like, and then it's like, I didn't come to the police straight away because I panicked and I didn't know what to do. And mm. then the police are just like, I guess turn around. And then he Aww. just, gets, he turns around, he's <laughs> put in cuffs. It's so fucking sad, man. 
that was imagine how hard that like would fuck you up yeah like, if you just shot and killed your friend by accident completely so when they were trusting you to show them how to use a gun Ugh. there was there was a guy who was on the floor shot in the chest and in the throat and he was just alive and he went to the he was like okay and he just went to the hospital and he was okay <laughs> But you right. shot through so through the chest and in the throat. Right. And like, they're poking Damn. holes in you, so if the holes aren't. On yeah, any... I suppose it must have missed like super. It must have missed his yeah, heart. Yeah, like obviously. like the with like the police just full of police guns. The reason why American police like mag dump like fucking psychos, right? Uh, like where they just empty like nineteen rounds into a guy is because like there there are like cases of where people have had like ten rounds dumped into them. And mm. they like are right. able, to, yeah, they they're able to like survive and like continue doing stuff. Like even if they're gonna bleed yeah. out in like a minute or two, they're still able to yeah. like in that brief period kill someone threat. else. Yeah, yeah, or just like mm. you know be scary, which pull out their mm. waistband is really scary. <laughs> <in my opinion. laughs> there was one or two like old guys like fighting that they got called to. And uh, like while the guy, while they're just talking, one of the old guys just his trousers falls down around his ankles, and he just <laughs> carries on like chatting to like the officer Dave. and the other guy and arguing with him, while like <laughs> his trousers are just around his ankles. Holy face! <laughs> he was pretty based. Yeah, that was a funny one. Some of them were really funny just because of the interactions between the the cops and the and the people. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's got me hooked. And then today. Uh, the last the last note I made was today there was a, I saw one with live rescue, which is a uh, like uh, ambulance, ambulance and uh, paramedics right. Uh, mm -hmm. There was two ones I saw today of note at least. One was um, there's a lifeguard on a beach looking for a lost boy. Mm -hmm. He just like wandered off one direction. And now the mum can't find him. Mm -hmm. uh, so he was like going along trying to find him, asking people have seen him, and then he talks to like two women, and they're like, no, we haven't seen him, but this guy's. Also, it's just another person, and they've lost their kid as well. What? So while, while he's hunting for one kid, he gets like a side quest to try and find, find another a different lost kid. kid. Did he um, find them both? While he's looking for the second one, the first one turns up, <laughs> and he's <laughs> and he's like, "Oh hi, bye," and he just ignores him <laughs> because he's now busy. Chap. He's now busy looking for the other one. You got to complete the side quest yeah. first before the main quest. And then they they eventually find it. They find both of them. Yeah, but it just made me laugh that uh, while he's lost one, he's trying to get Luther's another lost one. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened. It's really and the the other one I saw was uh, it was in a Walmart car park and there's a, a woman in a car with a dog and she's like oh I'm having a heart attack and the paramedics right. are like okay uh, we need to take you to hospital she's like I ain't going to hospital because <laughs> uh, <'cause>, uh, <laughs> uh, they don't want to pay right so like, yeah, all of this fuck... stuff is it costs them like thousands so they're like dying and they don't want to go there's a lot of them they're just refusing the hospital like there's people in like um the police stuff where they're like heavily injured and they're just denying the ambulance because they can't afford it and stuff which is really like horrendous to see right yeah that that's 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 very third world -like, yeah and third uh, country -like. and uh, the guy's like okay we, you, you have the right to refuse that but we you're ha you, if you're like having a heart attack and you've got all of these symptoms we, we're not going to let you drive home I said, like, I'll I'll drive you home, sort of thing. You can come in my car, I'll drive you home. Because if you drive, you could you could like have a heart attack and, and kill someone. You can hurt people. She goes, that would serve everybody, right? And she goes, like, you can't do that. She goes, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, no. He's like, I'm not letting you. I'm not letting you drive home. He says you could kill innocent people. She goes, I ain't. There's no innocent people in this world. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Maybe she's having a heart attack because she's too based to <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's but why. They, uh, they call like uh, the police because it's just paramedics, right? And the police come along and he's like, I'll drive you home. She's like, no. She's like, I'm, I'm driving home. Let me drive home. And he's like, no, <laughs> you're, you're having a home. heart attack and we're not letting you drive back. So she gets in. There's like, that goes back and forth like three or four times. They like go to the window and talk out and then come back and talk out again. And then when How they're... long is this heart attack? When they're when they're uh, just talking to each other, uh, she just drives off. <laughs> the paramedics go like, "Well, this isn't for us anymore." And now the police have to chase her down because she's <laughs> she's just driving off. <laughs> and then that's it. That's all you see of her. That's the end of it. She just drives off, and it turns into like a car chase. 
Does she get away? I don't know, it cuts off. They, they, what? They, yeah, that's, that's the last you see of it, because it's a live rescue, apparently. Not, it's, not, it's not the rescue, it's the police. Maybe it carries on in live PD. Oh, but yeah, those sad. are those are all my stories. I've just been really uh, entranced by how how different some aspects are of uh, the American police force compared to over here. Me and me and Adam mm. was watching some like video YouTube videos about drug stuff in America, mm. <laughs> and that shit is fucking insane. Uh, we watched this for <laughs> this one video, and it's what is it? It's some place. I'm trying to remember what it is, but I can't think of it. Uh, but it's just infested with fentanyl. <laughs> mm. Down every fucking street is just people consuming fentanyl. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, there are people who are, like, uh, whacked out their minds. They're, like, walking around like zombies. Yeah, and fucking, there's literally, uh, literally in, in the video, like a Dark Souls fucking, you just edited an area thing happens when, <laughs> when they get to Fenty Fountain. <laughs> <laughs> And it's just a fucking fountain in the middle of this American city. And everyone around it is just fucking off the court. <laughs> it's fucking insane. And they're walking up and they're like, why? And they're just like, why not, mate? <laughs> Fentanyl. This is the shit, bruh. What was, uh, what so was really crazy. weird about the, 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 thing. the drivers with drugs was that um, they... They wouldn't smell it, right? But the the person's been like swerving in the road, so they're like we think you're you're on drugs or whatever. And then they fail like yeah, the, yeah. the tests that they do, where they make them try and walk in a line and raise their leg and stuff. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they're like, "Can I search your car?" And they go, "No." Uh -huh. Is there anything in the car? No, there's not. And they say, "Okay." And then it's, it's really weird because they're the. It, I don't know. It, it feels it's kind of weird, but it feels like kind of scummy for the police. Is if they if they get denied to search the car, what they just sell, say they smell drugs. No, they uh, they bring the dog <laughs> and get the dog to find the drugs. <laughs> if they do, they're like, well, the dog's alerted on your car, so now we're allowed to search it. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> so obviously they find like however many like pounds of meth or weed or whatever. But <laughs> their response to uh, not not being allowed to search the car is to just get the dog to alert on the car <laughs> so they can search it and it's like okay which i guess is good in yeah. a way but it's you know what i mean it's just kind of kind of scummy yeah it feels way. kind of like Cheating. you're gaming the system yeah. no yeah. you're not allowed but it's kind of funny because well, obviously they always find it and they've just lied about it massively as well because they didn't want to get caught but... yeah yeah i mean the some thing, people the, just continue thing, lying as well which is the weird. thing with the the drug searching dogs though is that like it's they're, they're, people overestimate how how um, consistent they are. Like you, there are a lot of false positives with the drug searching dog. Like, sure, I but think, if it's a I false think, positive, they won't find anything. Yeah, but the, there's like I think it's something like True. eighty or ninety percent of the searches are false positives. Mm. Which which okay. sort of that's fine. It, no, right? I'm, yeah. Well, no, because it sort of just indicates that they're just using the dog as an excuse to search a car rather than there actually being merit in the sniffing dog. Like, if you search every car, you will find drugs in a decent amount of the cars, but that doesn't mean in every police interaction you sh the police should have the right to search every car, right? Yeah, sure. Why not? Damn. Why should a police not be able to search a car? Well, you have a right an invasion to privacy. Of privacy. Yeah. I mean, why should the police not be able to strip search anyone they see on the street? Do you it's believe the police different. should it's be like allowed different. to strip search and search a car well, is frisk. very different frisk. Things. Why should the police not be allowed to frisk? Oh, they're allowed to frisk everyone in this one. They always frisk everyone, yeah. They're allowed to do that. Everyone gets frisked. There's a guy who had right. a uh, I... crack pipe shoved up his ass. That was funny. I think... I, um... I think frisking and searching a car is different as well. I disagree. Uh, I think uh, I think searching even, a car is even still, uh, as bad I wouldn't, or worse. I wouldn't give a fuck if they could do both. Okay. Well, they basically did, so... They do, they do... I don't ever... I mean, what situation would I ever be in where that would be a bad thing? It's not about specifically you, though, right? The the, the reason why it's a bad thing is because the police disproportionately over-police certain communities, right? <laughs> that, yeah. That's why it's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing because it... Elliot. It's a bad thing because it has net societal no, negatives. I, I don't give a fuck about anyone else, though. I mean, I, 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 me, I mean, I, it'd be pretty pog as if murder was legal just for me. 
All right. I mean, if if there was a law saying Elliot Goodall can murder people, <laughs> I wouldn't fight. I wouldn't vote against it. I would vote for it. Really kind of Why based. wouldn't I? Just an additional right for me. Kind of based. Uh, uh, would you? There was one rule. If there was a law saying <laughs> Gregor McEwen, only you can murder someone. Why the fuck would I vote for that, bro? That's that's weird, bro. Kind of weird. Why is how is it weird? You just get to do it. How is it case. weird? Yeah. <laughs> just don't. How is, how is nothing, it weird? Nothing Explain weird. to me. Nothing weird. Explain about to that. me. Explain to me. <laughs> True. Explain yourself. True. You can't just say, yeah, there's nothing weird sarcastically and not explain yourself. What do you mean? The cause is. Of... Explain. Why? Uh, why? I mean, just, so why? generally, I guess, I tend to favor systems that don't carve out exceptions. And so if an exception can be granted to me, then it stands to reason that that exception could be granted to... No, no, that's part of the argument. agreement is it... I don't, I don't want to in a society in, where in you can world, just arbitrarily in this society, can murder people, again, just like I don't want to live in a society where kind of police can arbitrarily stop and frisk people, I guess. In, in, this, in this example, where only Elliot Goodall <laughs> has been granted the rule that I can murder people, only me, I think it's feasible to also believe that no one else will get that rule. Sure. My 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 uh, argument I mean that's not a good way to evaluate you just policy. Right? Morally not want to do it, right? I mm. uh, bro, I'm not gonna murder anyone. But then you don't need the rule. <laughs> but why why would I not want the option? What happens if that <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna murder anyone, but I do want the option to legally yeah. kill anyone I want. What why would I why would I want to not have an uh, a, f a option, a free option? To murder anyone I want. That's a good question. Good point. It's it's like having an I mean... N word pass, but you you're morally against <laughs> saying the N word. You know, yeah. you just you have the option and if <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. What is what is a food that you don't like? What's a food you don't like? Give me a food you don't like. <sighs> Your mom's pussy. <laughs> okay, sick. Cherry tomatoes, I don't like. I don't, <laughs> cherry tomatoes. I don't like, I don't like cherry tomatoes. Okay. Imagine I don't mind them cooked, you but have, on their own. Imagine you, you have the option yeah. to g have a lifetime supply of cherry tomatoes on demand, so you don't have to worry about spoiling them. That's not them quite the like same, that. because you could You don't have to worry about any of that. Would you say, nah, don't give it to me? Or would you say, yeah, sure, and just not claim it? And just never <laughs> claim it? Oh, just shit, the police are just pulled outside of my house <laughs> with the <laughs> sirens on. Th think of... What, hold up, what would hold you up, do, hold bro? up, the police have just pulled mm. someone over. Hold up, live PD is here. Oh, hey, live I'm looking PD? at my window right now. They've just pulled a car over. I'm watching. I'm watching. Give us I'm some watching. I'm we'll seeing... What was the answer to this cherry tomato situation? Uh, well, okay, I'll tell you what. Um... I'd probably say no, right? Because why? I just don't Ooh. need them. Oh, okay. A but, man's but, got but, out the police car. He's got his board. But why would he's you got not shades want on. the option? He's knocking on their window. He's pulled them over. He's talking to them. God damn. What? What? What is the downside to you for saying yes to cherry tomatoes? What is the negative? Are they delivered to me? They are delivered to you when you want them instantly. They just appear when you want them. Okay. Obviously, there's no downside to that. But, this is my point. But I'm not there is morally no downside against having to being cherry tomatoes. Allowed to so I am morally against killing people. Bro, if you are oh, morally against cherry tomatoes, car, why would you want car? the option? It's just a free option, bro. Well, he's taken him to the cop car. Police car, I should say. She getting arrested? Yeah, I'm not him. lying. He's taken him to the car. He's opened the back door for him. He's getting in. <laughs> he's getting in what? the police he's car. He's just gotten arrested. Oh, he hasn't got cuffs on, but he's hey, taken him out the car. You're getting live PD'd right now. Yeah, actually oh, live PD'd God. right outside my window. We get, yeah, there's nothing. Uh, I'm not gonna. There's a there's massive nothing... difference between morally killing someone, not there, wanting to kill there, someone, there is, and having there is cherry no tomatoes. This is the most. For being allowed to murder. Sure, but the point is, there's no upside really. The upside is. I can choose to murder someone. Yeah, but my point is that I'd never want to, so that was no. There's Even no. Even would I? I don't know. I don't Even think you know I? that much. <laughs> you don't know that for sure. Yeah. For the, for, first of all, okay. what if what if what if you do you think, what if you do right? you get into a situation where you're really heated, and you realize that you're what? like no, you're no, like you're really you're sure. really heated, and you're like yeah, I could murder I this really guy. Tick you off one day. I could murder yeah. this why guy for it? free, and then you do it as a crime of passion. But it's not actually a crime. We're our, our famous Pokemon Stadium streams on Elor YouTube channel. True. And we're on the final battle against the final gym leader, and we've got a guaranteed win. And then I pick, <laughs> I pick focus up five <laughs> times in a row, and we lose because I keep on focusing up. 
in that situation, would you or would you not want to murder me? No. <laughs> but there would be some situ- I take it back. There is some people I see about yeah. that Bro, I think the world might fucking... be better off without. What happens if Hitler Hitler appeared again? <laughs> you need you need a good you need a good mass murderer to stop a bad mass murderer. Yeah. You need a good you're not, you're not a mass murderer. You need a murderer. good guy with a you license to kill to stop murder. the bad guy with a license. To kill. <laughs> right. That, what happens if Hitler Holy appeared shit. again, bro? I kneel. And I kneel. <laughs> you could fucking kill Hitler. Okay. You could be that guy. I'll change sides. I kneel. I'm team I murder. Kneel. <laughs> Yeah, you literally just don't have to murder anyone. So, except for yeah, Hitler th- there's like a job done. There's a crazy right, anime no series about this like kid who gets like a, a notebook or something, and he can just like kill <laughs> anyone he wants. I can't remember what it was called. Though. He's not allowed to do that. He's not allowed to do that. <laughs> what does it matter? He can he can do it. <laughs> oh shit! Is another Bro, police that's, car. That's not my argument. My argument is, Wait, can I do it? Because I can murder someone. Well, no. The the base of your argument is, what if I could get away with killing anyone? And your method of getting away with killing anyone is that you're legally allowed to do it. The death note method of getting away with killing at anyone is just make them die of a heart attack, no, and no, no one can no, ever know that you did that. That's not a guaranteed. <laughs> Death Note, no, Death Note isn't a guaranteed because he gets caught, bro. He, yeah, he but gets caught. He gets caught because That's he's the, the point biggest... of the anime. No, the point of he the anime caught. is that fucking lights a megalomaniac crazy person, and that's why he gets caught. Yeah, if he wasn't a crazy he megalomaniac, he would never get caught. The, yeah, but Elliot, the, Elliot means that he even even if you were a Ma- megalomaniac, you still couldn't get caught because you're allowed to. Yeah, but even yeah, if you exactly. even if you You've are a megalomaniac 100%. in real life, you get caught with a, a death note how would you catch them with a death note in real life oh uh, no bro, bro oh does it because he has anime zero... magic sherlock Listen, holmes powers there is a 0.00001 percent chance <laughs> that it happens bro anymore. there's a 0.0001 chance with legally that i being fucked allowed your mum yesterday that chance ain't there bro with legally being allowed to murder that chance ain't there it's all yeah, but this, okay with legally being allowed to murder though you might not get consequences from, like, the government, but people who you murder's families are still going to want to kill you, right? I don't care. Yeah, but they, they, they can't do a it. They're not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> they can't do it. They're not allowed. Um, <laughs> as you know, as you know, in the United Kingdom, committing crime is against the law, and therefore no one does yeah. it. Literally, mm. they're not allowed, um, bro. I kneel. I, I kneel. <laughs> destroy. Actually destroy on this one. Someone trying to stab you with a knife? Hmm. Simply push out your hands and tell them it's against the law. They'll stop and start rendering medical well, aid. If someone tries to stab me, I will stab them, and I'm allowed to do it. No, you're not allowed to stab them. You're allowed to murder them. Yeah, yeah, but if you're not allowed to stab them, if you're in like no, you're a knife murder. fight, it, it's a pretty bad position to be in, though. Even if you're legally allowed to be in that. No, because they're coming at me with some uncertainty. <laughs> they're like, I'm not allowed to do this in the back of their mind. Yeah, but they just, they just have to get me, like a couple Giga good stabs Chad, on you and you'll bleed out. Me, though. Giga Chad, I'm allowed to do this. I go in, I you, win. you might win the knife fight, but you're going to bleed out in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. That's the problem. No. Mm. No, they won't. Okay, also, I kneel again. I kneel. You don't know how good I, I, <laughs> <laughs> know how good I have a knife. Uh, if, if we had an MDH knife. knife fight competition, I think Marshall would win. He's the he's got the longest reach. I got the reach. Yeah, yeah. yeah he just does have reach. Yeah. Maybe he we'd have to team up on were... Marshall. Me and Marshall did badminton one v one. Oh yeah, we did. And it's just not fair. <laughs> I, I, I stood earlier. We both held our arm out, and I have like an extra like foot plus each side reach yeah, on him. He just has like an extra racket head on me yeah. everywhere. Yeah. In every position. And that's why I play video games, because in the game, <laughs> the only thing that's being measured is your brain. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if I was allowed to murder, god damn it, Marshall. Yeah. <laughs> you should watch out. Oh god. Okay, I got I got a couple more um, live PD things I just remembered. Well, well give us what happened. Has it ended Outside, the, the guy's door? still in the police car with the Policeman okay, talking to him. Now. He's Next. still sitting in the back. Okay. All right. One. Okay, one the, was that there's a woman who gets like called over, and she just keeps lying, saying it's not her smoking weed, but a black guy walked past, and it's him, <laughs> not her. And they're like, "Okay." We we literally see the blunt in your pocket, and we saw you smoking. And she's like, "No, there's a black guy doing it." And then yeah. she goes, "This is racial. This this is." She goes, "This is reverse discrimination," and she says it too. <laughs> 
<laughs> she sent it to a black guy, a Chinese guy, and a white girl. And she goes, you're, you're, you're reverse discriminating against me. <laughs> and it's like someone from like the main three. <laughs> <laughs> racial racial ones in different uh, sexes as well Damn. and uh, that was funny but it was surprisingly most of the people they arrested was uh, just it was mostly just like rednecks pretty much but, like, or maybe perhaps they were the only crazy ones worth showing I suppose mm. yeah but uh, there was also one of the guys that got pulled over he had like he was like working for the cartel and he had like a yeah. He had, they called it, oh, I think they called it like a suicide load or whatever, because he just had so much, <laughs> so much weed, he just, there's no point in hiding it at that point. Because mm -hmm. So he just had like bags and bags full of it, just like massive yeah. bag for life bags, like loads of pounds sure. of it. Yeah. And uh, they were, at the end they were like, oh he got sentenced, it was like, I, I think they said it was 70, oh no it wasn't weed, it was meth I think. Um, and he got, <laughs> it was like, it was $700,000 worth. Um, which, judging from inflation, might be a little bit more now, depending on when that was, but mm -hmm. roughly just shy of a million worth of drugs. Oh shit, the police car's driving off with him. Oh shit, I guess he is being taken into custody. Then. His car just yeah. left behind. Oh, they're reversing. They've lit up the follow me sign on it. But I don't think there's anyone in that car that he pulled over. But yeah, he, he, it was like just shy of a million of drugs that he was transporting. But he only got five years in prison. And I thought, like... The risk reward of like a million dollars worth of drugs is only five years, in prison. five years in prison. Not counting that's obviously not the bad. fact that how that affects your life post prison. That's I was like, that's bad. not terrible. <laughs> that's what I thought. Anyway, yeah. police I police is driven off. They've lit the follow me sign, but no one's following them, and the car is now left outside my house I, where they arrested the guy. I wouldn't play the odds. But I could see why people do play the mm, odds. Exactly, that's what I thought. I thought five years for transporting. I mean, I, it was. I suppose there's plenty worse crimes, but yeah, I was yeah. like, I guess uh, I can see why this kid's doing it. The kid was like twenty. No, the cartel had got him to do it because it was like young and expendable, right? The, mm. the loss for them wasn't the guy; it was all the drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but there's a free yeah, car outside my house now. If you want to come up. get it. Yeah, sure. The, the driver's gone with the police car. I, I like that I got my own live live episode whilst talking. Yeah, about live episode. Really you should have come yeah, out maybe. outside and filmed it. I should have yeah. vlogged it. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, you got to also. You got to make sure that you go like world star. <laughs> world star. Oh, just be as Welcome obnoxious as NBA possible. Podcast. Get the cops to start Today like got... getting in your face, being like, officer "You're James. not supposed to be that close. You can't record this." Yo, officer, mm. what's going up in the hood? <laughs> Okay, the officer then goes, fucking, what are you doing? Please leave the area. And then you go, world star! <laughs> there, there was a woman who got arrested for shouting at another guy who got arrested. Like, a guy got caught for speeding, and a woman pulled over and just started berating him because either cops were arresting him. And she yeah. she got arrested, and the guy got let go <laughs> because she yeah. was just oh, being oh, rude. fucking cool. That's funny as hell. How stupid is that? Just because someone just because someone gets arrested doesn't give you an ex <laughs> give you permission. I to think be a I think it was uh asshole. I think they were like being dick. Well, no, she's people, probably like, like rubbernecking and causing right. a traffic ex issue. Yeah. yeah. Like so, if, uh, if you're stopping in traffic and holding yeah, up traffic, yeah, they were like just... gloating that they were getting arrested. <laughs> they just like you can go. We're gonna yeah, arrest this if, woman you wanna, now. if you want to, if you want to, you got to do it tastefully. Okay, you just drive past and yell out the window and keep driving. Yeah, so my biggest, uh, one, my biggest them... learn from kill yourself. Yeah, exactly. Just be, just be chill. Be legal. chill with the cops. Yeah, just be chill and honest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> obviously, honest, like everyone that was honest, turn to the guy and go. But also honesty asterisk, which is. If you got some real bad shit, don't be honest. <laughs> but if if you have like nothing and there's or like really minor amounts in the, you know, not well, all... even if uh, even if you lie and try to hide it, sort of thing. As long as you're chill, yeah. they're normally pretty chill with you. But so many people would just be like dickheads and aggressive, or whatever, and they got far worse treatment and sentences and everything else. If I get pulled over from a cop, I'll be like, "Whoa, fuck you, fuck yeah, you." Yeah, basically, no, it was worse. It'd be like that whilst trying to like charge at them or like hit them and yeah, we're, oh, we're, policeman's we're, back yeah. on his foot. I'm gonna be smoking a blood Hold up. and they're gonna yeah. ask me if there's policeman's back he's unlocking no, the no then you blow it in their face and go what do you think <laughs> officer <laughs> <laughs> policeman is in in said car the policeman came back on I foot I blow it on their face and then I go summer ant 
I think you the should. Is stealing the Low tier get... god and his goons come out behind. He starts the infamous the He starts running at them. What? So why do you think we're pulling you over today? August 12th, <laughs> 2036. The heat death of the universe. <laughs> August 12th, 2036. The heat death of the universe. Oh, the policeman's driving off the other car now. That's my. That's the end of my live PD. It should be the end of the podcast as well. I think we've hit. Yeah. Hit the time. Yeah, it lines up. Uh, well, all in all, successful bike trip from Greg. Yep. Portugal. Well done, Greg. Doing part two to America. I look forward to hearing your America one. Live PD, pretty entertaining. Yeah, and I recommend August 12th, it. August twelfth, twenty thirty six is going to be the heat death of the universe. And uh, allegedly, June today is going to be the end of the podcast. Thanks everyone. We'll uh... catch you. Next month. I don't know what's how what podcast is gonna be next month. It might be just be me and Marshall question mark. Maybe we'll have a guest to replace Greg for the maybe next we'll few months when he's on the road. Mm, we'll figure maybe, something maybe, out. Maybe maybe Greg can call in from the road. We'll find out. Yeah. Uh thanks for watching. Thanks all, bye.